Good morning. This is May Dudelau here with Enjoy the Journey, episode 21. And I want to welcome you here. I am an internet marketer. I'm a mom. I'm a banker. Uh, so I'm a very busy lady and I have a very full life. And I wanted to do some blogging tutorial today to show you what it is that I do as I do it so that you can see um, if internet marketing is right for you. Now, to me, Internet marketing is a skill that if you're not learning it, you're falling behind because the world is going this way. Information is what we are bartering in this current economy. Now, so I do this because of them. And the reason I call this Enjoy the Journey is because I used to be so focused on the money that I lost sight of why I was doing the things that I was doing in my life. And, you know, I remember the first day I made, I made, um, my husband and I made over $4,000 that day. And we were like, so excited, you know, we were like, oh my God. And that was, um, uh, I couldn't even sleep that night, you know, I was so excited. I was like, oh, you know, and then, and then after that, it was like, you know, now what? <laughs> Like I was only happy on the days that I made big money, and then what about the days when I didn't make big money? Was I like not happy? You know? <laughs> and then I realized that life kind of is weird. You know, why not be happy every day, right? Why does it have to depend on something that happens to us, right? Your happiness, well, my happiness, doesn't depend on outside factors, right? It depends only on how I feel inside, and that's a choice I make. Now. That's, some, that's sometimes easier said than done, right? However, it's true. I mean, it's inherently true. And now, after I adopted doing this back in August, I think I started this, August 2014, marketing has been a lot more fun for me. I um, enjoy it. If I make a lot of money or I don't, I still do my marketing, you know? <laughs> and so it's made me a better marketer, too, because now I'm more consistent and, you know, it's, and it works for anything if you're into health, you know, exercise, you, you know, you want to exercise every day, right? Well, same thing with marketing, being a good mom, you want to be there and play with your son every day, you want to get enough sleep every day, you know, things like that. So um, I do this hangout webinar right now on Friday at uh, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. is uh, before I go to work. Um, on Friday. I work for money to Friday right now in a, at a bank. I'm a banker. So, and actually, I actually really learned a lot at the bank. You know, I, you know, I remember back when I, I wasn't happy with my job, and then I was like, you know, I realized, you know, what is it about this job that you can appreciate, and are you learning stuff? And honestly, um, I learned a lot at my job about a lot of stuff. I learned about sales, about people, about communication, about um how to follow up how to offer good business how to how to be a good business person how to check your receipts how to check your expenses you know i learned about what mortgages are interest rates um how you know all the different accounts work and all kinds of things i learned so to me i really enjoy it because uh it's teaching me a lot about the world of business and the finance and I realized that what I love is um, actually financial things. And it took me a while to, to figure that out. <laughs> so anyway, today's lesson is a blogging tutorial. So now that you know a bit about me and a little bit about what I do for a living and my story, oh, and the biggest thing about me, of course, is that I am in a family, very loving family. I live with my mom. She actually moved in with me back when I decided I want to have a big family. and before I even got married and even knew who I was going to marry, I invited my mom over with me. And then that was a great thing. And then um, I found my husband and met him online at Harmony. We got married. And then we had our son, Jordan. He's now one and a half years old. He turned one and a half on Monday. This past Monday, today is the 27th of February um, in Hawaii. And he turned... Uh, one and a half years old on February 23rd, 2015. So we went to the beach and we hung out there for a while. 
it was a lot of fun. So maybe I'll show you some pictures of that um, during the hangout. Or I'll just email it to you. And if you're not on my email list, uh, I send periodic updates on great news in internet marketing. Also in financial freedom. If you're interested in becoming financially free, I send out I have a blog about financial freedom and about blogging. So those are my two main interests right now. Um, and I and my biggest uh, interest is, all, is my family. So my, actually, my biggest goal right now is to have our second child. So we're working on that, uh, if you can call it work. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, when you start doing these kinds of things, like when you start um, working on yourself and figuring out what you love, you find out that your work is actually pretty fun. I mean, um, my work has gotten a lot more fun everywhere. Like, um, and so uh, it's like I'm having fun at my job, I'm having fun with my family, I'm having fun with internet marketing. You know, it's it's fun, and um, it's easy for me to wake up in the morning to do this now because I love it now. So, and it's a good time to wake up and do it because. My baby's asleep, and he's gonna sleep anyway, so I don't feel like I'm missing out on <laughs> being with my family. You yeah. know, my husband sleeps too, so everyone's nice and cozy. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna just put my name on the screen for you, and um, get this going. And I'd like to thank you for uh, your patience. I used to do these hangouts on Thursday night at midnight, my time, uh, 11 p.m. my time, and that wasn't working out for Jordan. He wasn't sleeping well, so I changed it to six, and I, I finally, I think I'm finally used to this time. So it should be pretty regular now. You're gonna get um, notifications, and we will be regularly on live at 6 a.m. on Friday. So, yay! <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put my name up so you know who I am, and I'm going to put the address to my blog. And you can always go to this blog. Yeah, replays. So we've had 21 episodes, right? So you can always go and get a replay of one of the episodes. All of them are there. They're archived. If you want to go back and watch it again, or um, you want to share it with someone, they're all there. So you can just go there and find it. And let's see. I just switched her out. Isn't that cool? Okay. So there you go. That's my blog, candoitblog.com. Me do well. So you can go there anytime. You can learn more things. Uh, we have our readers to readers emails that um, we also do. Uh, those are where we read books that help us become better readers. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the blog that I use. And I'm going to share with you my screen. This is not a blog. This is a what do you call it? Email autoresponder. So we're get, we'll get into that in a minute. So let's go over. This is the blog, and right now I'm in the middle of doing it. So let's. Oops, I just closed it. Okay. So I'm using the Kolatu blog. Offered by an amazing company, Power Network. They have this great blog. It's so good. If you want one too, like I said, just go to my blog and you can get it. Okay, so I use this tool called Start the Challenge. And it's a 21 day blogging challenge tool that gives you, it, it helps you create really pretty, nice posts really easily by asking you questions. So, Today's template is favorite quotes. So, like, talk about quotes that you like. So, I'm going to do money quotes and I'm going to say that they're fun. Okay, and then I'm going to get a picture. Um, so, let's see. Oops. So, I'm going to look for a picture of like money. And, and I'm glad there. Let's see if I can find <laughs> Throwing it out there. Well, I guess he's happy Buddha. That's true.
said, some of these things make sense. Of okay, so this is a the image of of this guy laughing, and I think that's one. <laughs> I think that's one of the. Um, I think that's one of the. There's there's like different Buddhas. I used to live in Taiwan long, not that long ago, maybe. 12 years ago, 13 years ago, I lived in Taiwan for five years, and um, I learned a lot about different kinds of Buddhas. Buddhas are just people who um, became enlightened, and anyone can become enlightened. Um, there's still Buddhas now. You know, there's always Buddhas. It's just anyone who becomes enlightened. And, um, enlightened is kind of like just enjoy the journey, you know, like <laughs> enjoy your life. <laughs> um, Instead of like, you know, running after things, just enjoy what you have and, you know, that kind of thing. So, anyway, uh, there's these Buddhas, some of them were really rich, you know, and they were really happy, really rich, really sad. So, this is a picture. I see one of them. So, anyway, I'm going to put that image in the blog. So, right now, what we're doing is we're making a blog post. A blog post is just an update on a website. A blog is a web log. It's a website where you, you put in um, daily or weekly or whatever you want to do, updates. And um, so you update it daily with new information. So it's called a blog. It's, it's different. It is a website. So it's the same as a website, except that a website is usually something people say about any place on the web. And that place might be stagnant. It might just be a, a plain site that doesn't get updated. It just has information on it. It doesn't have a daily like a log of different things. So some people use a blog just to have a journal about their own life. You know, like uh, today the kids and I went to bed. You know? <laughs> and that's fine, you know. You can do a blog about whatever you want. Um, I blog about financial freedom because uh, I want to learn more about it and I, I, I value it and um, I you know I think financial freedom is important. And I want to um, put what I know about financial freedom out to the world. So I blog about financial freedom. Now, you can blog about anything you want. You can blog about cooking. You can blog about art. You can blog. I know some people who do network marketing businesses. They can blog about their what they're selling if they love it so much. You know, it's it's really about whatever you like to do. Um, and and you you write daily posts about the value of what you're doing. And, um, you, you keep up with the latest trends because, as you know, everything everything is always changing, right? So um, there's always new information on any field of study. So whatever you're good at is what you would blog about. Whatever you love to do, you know, I, I personally I love counting money. I love looking at money. I love checking out my bank account. It's so funny at the bank while I'm working there. I will check out my own bank account. I think every hour <laughs> sometimes. Or like I'll go get through a big project and I'll check my bank account and then I'll go back to work on a different project. It's so funny. <laughs> and I can only do that because I work at a bank. So I can just I have access to super fast and I can jump right in and take a look at it. <laughs> now everyone's different. You might see someone who loves to exercise. You know, I've met a lot of people. I did an Iron Man before. I met people who just freaking love to exercise, right? So their blog would be about exercise. You know, I've met people who love to cook. You know, they just, they just love cooking, they know all about cooking, all the utensils in the kitchen, and they're like a pro at cooking, and well, they could blog about that, right? For people who like cats, you know, there's so many people with so many interests, right? Whatever you're interested, that's what you blog about, because there are other people who want to know more about it, and they're going to look for what you have, and they want to hear what you say, because the internet is full of real people looking for other real people, right? They don't want to see these cold and heartless business facade, you know, like a, a page that's so professional and then there's um, no real person behind it. People want to deal with people. People want to get to know people, right? So that's why blogging is a great business right now. It's really hot to have and it's important because people learn a lot from blogs. And you've probably been on Google and looked for information and you got it from a blog, just saying. So why am I sharing these quotes today? Um, a lot more money, yes. Um, it's good.
good to be light, good and enjoy. Um, and the funny thing that we do is for, for it. Three bees quote and learn the last time you spend with your money. Okay. So my blog, like I said, is about financial freedom. So we're going to be doing money quotes. So I, and this, like I said, this blogging platform is really excellent. It's really excellent because, oh, and if you want to see, look here. We are actually going to be live because if I, um, I just think this is cool. Uh, I have to reload for this. I haven't used Firefox in a while. I mean, yeah, so let's check it out. We're actually live right now. Isn't that cool? I learned this um, at my company, how to do everything. You know, so if you want to learn more about this stuff, join my email list. If you don't know how, just go to my blog. You kind of need the banners on the top. You can join my email list. And I, I teach stuff like this to people who want to do um, blogging. Isn't that cool? Like, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's where you're, you're seeing this and I'm showing you you know, or you're seeing it. Anyway, it's for you. Okay. I'm going to close. Okay. <laughs> so let's just stay there. Let's be in the zone. So this is really cool because it tells you where to go to get quotes. See, it's like so nice. Like, you know, it makes blogging so much easier. So anyway, okay. So I'm going to get a quote about money. So I think this one is pretty funny. So I'm just going to take it. <laughs> okay. And this one, I think it's funny. I don't know. I've been, I've been thinking about working with money for a long time. It's funny. The safe way to double your money is to fold it over once and put it in your pocket. Uh -huh. So, I think that's something. So true. Huh? How many times? Has there been some hot deal that's going to make you rich instantly, or maybe <laughs> or maybe you go to gamble your money? Do you keep it? Do you make money? Or do you really lose it? Wouldn't it have been much more profitable? Just Anyway, I think that's fun. Okay, moving on. This one is more serious. We can tell our values by looking at our checkbook that there is a very good way to return to it. See, this one's fun. I like this one. This one's about gambling, too. This is funny. That's a pretty cool. Hopefully, I can get enough funny ones to do a blog. It's really fun. So the, the thing today is funny. Not just money, it's funny. <laughs> There is a very easy way to return from a casino with a small fortune in Go there with a large one. I just went to the with my family for the first time last month. Hundred dollars to gamble. Came back with what did I come back with? Fifty cents. I think.
face. I just wrote LOL. I went, I just went to Vegas with my family for the first time last month. Um, sorry. Brought $100 to gamble, came back with 50 cents. It was fun, exciting, and now it's going all at once. It's cool to see. Oh, my dear, I can sound like gross habits of money. Oh, that's funny. I like this one too. That's funny. <laughs> oh, you just, it's really easy to, to do these, right? You just put in the quote, you set it, what do you think about it? And then when you want to do another quote, just hit this button. So easy. And how much easier can you get? It makes volume so easy. I love this thing. My problem lies in reconciling my gross habits with my net income. <laughs> This is the first minute. Forget it. Let's run another one. How much interest do we get when the monthly payment is in Inflation hasn't ruined everything, and dimes can still be used as a screwdriver. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to use it anyway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on, don't you think that's funny? That is so funny. Come on, right? That is some very good. <laughs> Uh, I'm opposed to what I am going to try to do. I don't get that. They who are in the opinion that money is everything may very well be suspected to do everything for money. It's not afford to waste my time making money. There's no money in poetry. There's no poetry money either. When I have money, I get rid of it quickly and I find a way to have it. It is an unfortunate human feeling that it's a hard work and going to allow you to learn and fix that. A specific to the beach is hard to believe that we live in this world. No measure of your wealth is how much you would be worth if you lost on your money. Only when the last tree had died and the last river had been slain and the last fish was caught in the real of the family. The only reason a great many American families don't own an elephant is that they have never been offered an elephant for a dollar down to the <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, that's funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I'm so I'm in a good mood today. I am in a good mood today. <laughs> it's funny. Come on, don't you think that's funny? Okay, that is hilarious. To be reading what I'm writing. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. okay. I wrote, you know, so funny. We do buy everything. I was at a seminar once where people were racing through the stage to buy black commoner, and you wouldn't believe it until you see it. Unfortunate. Oh. I'd like to live as a poor man with the money. No matter how hard you love money, ever you there's a pocket in a shroud. Wait, waste your money and you're not only out of money, you waste your time. There are people who have money and people who are rich. This planet has or rather had a problem, which was this. Most of the people living on it weren't happy to pay much. 
so that not many solutions exist for the problem, but most of these were largely concerned with the movements of small green pieces of paper, which is odd, um, <laughs> the whole planet. Was it a small group of people that weren't happy with it? was Adam. Oh, I read that book, The Checkers Guide to Galaxy. I might have to read it again because I didn't really like it. Just in some way. Life shouldn't be printed on those. Books. There are a few stars that are poignant in which a good income is a no bill. The gods, the month, the god of the world's leading religion. It's good to have money and the things that might be lost. It's good too to check up once in a while and make sure that you haven't lost the things that might be your money or your life. We know what to do when a burglar makes this demand for us and not with God. Inflation is when you pay fifteen dollars for a ten dollar haircut you used to get for five dollars a year. A bank is a place where you lend and lend you money to conclude that you don't need. <laughs> Okay, I'll put that one in. Please give me a huge laugh. I'll do everything. I wasn't expecting them in there at the end. Oh, that's a question. Business is the art of extracting money from another mentor without returning the money. Oh, gold. I still prefer that into paper, which makes bank credit like work. Of vapor. Always borrow money from the customer so he doesn't expect to be paying back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That just makes me laugh. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. I'm going to put it in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just think it's funny. Okay. I don't really borrow money from anyone except myself anymore. However, there was a time I was in the borrowing game. and this oh, just makes me laugh. <laughs> Funny freaking quotes, man. And it's nice because they keep track of what number you're on. They usually go to number nine. They say that odd numbers are, we just had this lesson with Neil Patel, and Neil Patel is a man who makes a ton of money blogging, he's very wealthy, and he's a consultant for places like, you know, Google, you know, things like that, so he's very wealthy, he knows his stuff. He said, always use odd numbers when you do blog, odd numbers, and don't do three because it's too few, so I'm like, okay, so I end up usually doing nine when I do quotes, although last time I did ten, I don't know. And I think 10 is a good number too. He said odd numbers are good. Whatever. Let's see. Every day I get up and look through the Forbes list of rich people in America. I'm not there. I go to work. <laughs> Money is neither my God nor my devil. It's... <sighs> Dan Millman. I read this book. Um, it, I think this is the book. Money is not neither my God nor my team. It's simple. It is a form that it takes tends to make us more of what we already are, whether it's greedy or loving. Dan Millman, he wrote Way of the Peaceful Warrior. That was a good book. That That's all about enjoying the journey. He's, he's a, it's a good book. Go read it. My old father used to have a saying, if you make a bad bargain, hug it all the tighter. That's cute. If you think nobody cares if you're alive, I'm missing a couple of carpets. <laughs> Okay, I think that's funny. I just think it's funny. Okay, I think it's funny. I'm gonna put it in because it's funny, right? Funny. If it makes me laugh, it's going in. Okay, very, very funny. So true, though. People are. 
on you and you are your loving your inner ball of joy bar okay Okay, let's look over another one. Money's better than poverty, if only for financial reasons. <laughs> I don't like money, actually, but it quiets my nerves. <laughs> Budget, a mathematical confirmation of your suspicions. <laughs> I got a lot of funny quotes about money there. I love it. Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> I laughed when I read this one. Why did you serious about budgets, right? Budgets are awesome. <laughs> okay, put something up. Um, wait, I think I already have nine, right? Is that my ninth quote? It says number nine, yeah. I'm going to read. I think this is fun. Sorry, I just enjoy this. And you want to be enjoying your blogging. Now, you don't want to blog forever, though, so I've been blogging for about a half hour, so I probably should stop. So you know what? I'm going to stop blogging. Okay. At the bottom of a Kalatu blog, they have these cool things called actions. Now, it's important in business when you blog to always have a call to action. Why? Because you want people to buy something from you or, you know, attain some service from you. So you, you want to have a call to action. And um, in my business, I sell blogs, right? I sell blogging platforms. I sell education on how to do internet. Um, I also sell other things like books through Amazon, all kinds of stuff. So my call to action to people is to um, there triple your money ability, right? That's a good one. So want to learn how to have fun and make money. So. Easier than you think it is, and it's important to get in the game while it's hard. Who knows how to have fun with me? <laughs> so click the image below for more detail. Okay, so we're going to say nine money, funny money quotes. I'm going to say nine funny quotes about money and how we spend it.
funny quotes about money. with that and then they they actually format it for you real nice and they even have ways to make it look good on facebook if you put it on facebook like if you have a fan page like i do you can say you say your say you sell i don't know sport shakes you know nutrition shakes i have a friend who's really into nutrition shakes so and and other things like um, Health products that give you optimal health. Well, you can have a, a, you know, fan page about optimal health, you know, and then you can share your blog posts on that fan page so people know the latest and greatest stuff on optimal health, right? So here, this is showing you what it's going to look like on Facebook. You have an image you upload. You put the I put the beginning of my blog usually here, and then there's the the title, and that's it. And then you can make a category, and I will put books. I'm going to add a category. Add a category. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, it's in a category called books. Maybe I'll change my categories later. Right now I'm just gonna use books. Okay. And that's it. And then I get to publish it. Publish. Okay. Now it's live on the internet. Now you can view your post by clicking this button and it opens this new tab, which is nice. And then you can see what it looks like. Nine funny quotes about money that will make you laugh out loud. And then here's the guy. And then you can, this is the part where you market your post. Okay. So you can Twitter it. Tweet it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put financial freedom as a tag. I'm going to put money as a tag. I'm going to put um, funny quotes. As a tag, right? Um, and then to that, okay. And then I'm going to do it again. And so, what I do after I blog, and if you're an internet marketer, this is what you do you tell people that you blog, right? You want them to read it. So, um, I just wrote a super funny. Long with nine of the nine quotes about me that will make you laugh out loud. Enjoy your money and Enjoy how you handle who are and then I just post it. Oh, I can put some tags in too, right? So, um, money. Oops, money, money. <laughs> I didn't know what these used to be. Um. If you do these hashtag things, you get into if there's a conversation going on in the internet, then uh, you become you, you go into that thread. I'm not. I'm definitely not an expert at Financial Freedom Fridays. I didn't even know they had something like that. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then I might do something on oops. Funny. 
and then I'll put three. Um, anyway, and then you can do that, and then you, you share it. Oh cool, yeah, and then it eventually it'll get shared. <laughs> Got shared, and then Facebook. So Facebook, should I just go to Facebook? Oops. And that's a good way to segue you into the next topic, which I want to talk about. So I have a fan page, May and Jamel Google out, my husband. Okay, and then um, da, 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 eventually it will open, and then we can do something in there. <laughs> Yay, it's getting there. Go, Facebook, go. If you're wondering who this is, this is Lawrence Tam. Lawrence Tam, he's um he made uh he's made over two million and maybe three already, I don't know, two million dollars in, in in my business. And that's just this one business I do with the, the blogs. And so he he's uh, training us in different ways to make more money. And his results are not typical, by the way. If you did decide to do this business, which I'm doing as well, you are not guaranteed to make a million dollars, okay? Um, I personally, with my husband, we've made 22, about 22,000 so far, and about almost a year, I guess a year and a half so far. So, I mean, everyone's results are different. You know, some people make a lot of money, a lot more than us. I mean, I was listening to Elena Fraga, Fraga, <laughs> F-R-A-T-A, this week, um, and she made 62,000 her first week. <laughs> 62,000. You know, I mean, not her first week. She was talking this past week. She made sixty-two thousand. Her first week, she made a lot of money too, though. I think I forgot how much. Um, and her results are not typical. So, and we in our company, we have uh, an achievement is to get a million dollar ring. It means you've earned a million dollars. And we've had like, I think, fifteen million dollar ring earners so far in three years of the company's existence. And uh, we have a ton of people made. It's not a ton, however, like over. 20, 30 people made over 500,000 already in three years. So, I mean, like I said, their results aren't typical. However, there are more people making a lot of money in this business than I've ever seen in any other business I've been in, like, ever. So, that's why I love it. <laughs> and plus, I've made money, which is great, you know, because <laughs> I've done internet marketing for a while. And trust me, you don't, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you're not necessarily going to make money. And, you know, it's cool when you do. So, Anyway, that's Lawrence Cam, just so you know, since he's on my Facebook. He's a family guy. I liked him a lot. Uh, he used to have a full-time job, too, when he started. And then he made enough that he decided not to do his job. Anymore. He outsources a lot of things. So he's teaching us now how to outsource a lot of stuff. So you might see me um, transitioning out of doing a lot of things myself, and then I'll be outsourcing it to someone else to do it. You can get someone, he was saying, you can get someone to work full-time for you 40 hours a week, and you only have to pay $400. Amazing. Um, so anyway, my Facebook is not working. So we're going to skip to something else right now. I don't know. It's not working. So let's go check out the comments. So I, I talked about comments. Now, comments are things that people look at your blog, they like it, they want to say something about it, and then they comment, right? Okay, so this one is a comment. Located this outstanding place and concluded you should see it. So that's just really weird, right? So that would be a spam. So you spam that comment. This is a great post from Lisa Robert. This one's about three push lesson from Robert Kiyosaki. Great post from Lisa Robert Kiyosaki is one of my favorite teachers and mentors. I'm going to edit her comment. Um, favorite teachers. Okay. Oh, okay, so you can actually see what it looks like. So here, here's the, the blog post I wrote on the 26th about lessons I learned from Robert Kiyosaki, and that's Robert Kiyosaki. That's a quote he made. It's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. So that's what Robert Kiyosaki, one of the things he said. He's good at um, financial freedom stuff. So anyway... I talk about lessons I learned from him, right? So this lady, she put a quote, um, 
and I'm I'm seeing if I want to approve it or not. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I don't need to be there. So okay, so let's go back. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure how to get out of here. Oh, update. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Great post was that Roberts is one of my favorite teachers and mentors. Love the information he puts out. I love Richard Cordet and all his other books. One of my favorites is Why We Want Why We Want You to Be Rich by Robert and Donald Trump. Thank you, Sharon. Hmm. See, I've never read that one. That's a cool one. So this is a good quote. I mean, blah, blah. <laughs> this this is a good comment, right? You have weird comments and then you have good comments. This one's a good comment. So um, sorry, I'm just gonna add another S here. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reply to her quote. Okay, so I'm gonna say thank you, thank you so much for your comments. Me, I will have to read that. Okay, and then I approve and apply. So then that comment is now on that blog. And the cool thing is that, um, oh, I think we can just click that button. The cool thing is that when people comment on your blog, it becomes higher ranked in search engines because there's more words on your blog. People are putting more words at the end of it. And there's more activity, and Google likes that, so they rank it higher. So then more people see your blog post, and they see the value you're giving, and then they click on the links in your blog post to get whatever it is that you're selling, or find out more about you. You know, so they can do business with you. So it's a good thing. So that's how comments work. And you can leave comments on other people's blogs, which is what I was going to do on Facebook, something my Facebook is like no function. <laughs> Okay, maybe it'll work now. So let's take a look. All right, so let's go. We have this really cool thing. Oh, someone was in the hospital. We have this really cool thing called the 21 Day Blogging Challenge um, in our company. And we help each other with our blogs and commenting with the blogs. So today I just did that blog, right? So I'm going to take my blog post and I'm going to put it in the group. And Push your blogs here and da, 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 keep going to Yeah, so I'm just going to go in the comments and I'm going to post my blog. Right? Here we go. And then what you can do in here is I go and I find a blog post that looks interesting to me. And, and then I go and I comment on their blog. Right? Um, share, spread the blog. Because you know, I'm in a blogging community, so this is their blog. Okay, so it's cute, right? <laughs> the beauty, the beauty of food with integrity. So let's see. Growing up in Kansas, I had the pleasure of visiting several family-operated farms. Meeting many people who lived on farms and grew their own livestock, had their own chickens, and grew their own food. Thinking back on this, remembering the animals when I was able to pet and watch them, there was beauty in how these farm animals were raised. Farm animals weren't stressed, they were free to run around and graze. The babies could follow their mom and run around and play with other babies. Most importantly, they were eating what they naturally meant to eat. Therefore, these are happy, healthy animals. More importantly, the way their slaughter is humane, which is incredibly important as well. Let me tell you why this is very vital to our health versus the regulation and mass production of major factories. Stress free farm and animal equals good quality meat. Animals raised naturally, humanely, for the purpose of quality meat are raised on a vegetarian diet, reducing the stress and allowing them to live and roam naturally versus in confinement is going to allow you to raise pigs, cattle without antibiotics. The larger food companies, the four head and four meat heads, rely on antibiotics to work. When the animals are afraid and stressed, it causes the release of lactic acid and a breakdown of their muscle structure, as why major factors inject antibiotics to come into animals. Yeah, I like this blog because I'm into health, so I'm like, this is cool, right? So really, I picked her blog, right? Letting them graze naturally and eat a healthier diet is vital to raising healthier, higher quality meat. People are continually exposed to eating meat injected with antibiotics and hormones. Their bodies can no longer respond to the need for antibiotics. 
Free range pasture raise animals, wild animals to be themselves. I think it would be I already actually know this stuff, however, it's nice to, you know, read about it. She she explains it really well. See, just because I know about it doesn't mean everyone does. And she explains it really nicely. So there is a way to eat meat that is healthy and kills humanely. Uh, today, slaughterhouses are not being lost as much as they used to, or if at all. There is a federal law called Humane Slaughter Act that was approved back in 1958 to prevent inhumane acts of slaughtering animals for food processing. It says you need to have the animal completely sedated and insensitive to pain. The animal is not supposed to feel anything. Get it notice. The issue with the Humane Slaughter Act is that it only states cattle, calves, horses, mules, sheep, and swine. But that but then it states that other livestock and all animals rendered insensible to pain by a single blow or gunshot. Um, in our previous blog post, Anthony shows how major food factory industries and factories regulate blah, blah, blah. It's not done to me. See, this is interesting. I did not know this. Animals are hoisted by like, you know, I don't want to read this. <laughs> I don't want to hear about this. <laughs> okay. So she's very into this, which is cool. That's her, that's, this is her mission. See, that's my point, is that you blog about your mission. And you know, I think she has a very noble mission because I do believe animals, if they're going to be slaughtered, should be slaughtered humanely. So, and she does eye pass too, um, which is also cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment on her blog, right? Because I thought it was interesting. So I'm going to put my name in here. Why do you want to be my mail and my Okay, and then my website. Oh, excuse me, my website is right here. Yeah, sorry, it's my website. There it is. Okay, that's my blog. There we are. Okay, so I put in. This is how you comment on other people's blog. Okay, you put. You can put in your website now. See. I can understand when you blog on someone else's blog, you're actually putting your website out on the web more. So you're, you're actually helping your website with its ranking as well. So there's a lot of reasons to blog and to comment on other people's blogs. And, and plus, you know, you want to comment, obviously you want to find blogs that you are interested in so you're not just, you know, you want to read and comment on good blogs. Then you can learn while you're doing it. And then, um, so I want to say, Hey, what is her name? Shane. Shane. Hey, Shane. Great blog. I didn't realize that you had a blog about names. I agree that it is important to follow this law and I'm grateful for you to advocating it and being a web presence for others. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Okay. So I just commented on her blog. And see, she has ads here too, right? She's selling the same business I am. Um, you know, earn five hundred thousand, even three thousand dollars without even picking up the phone or selling anything, right? It's pretty cool, right? That's her biz. As you can see, I'm not calling anybody. <laughs> I'm not calling a person. My marketing does not require me picking up the phone and calling anybody. Okay, so I like that blog. So I I commented, right? So that's how you comment on a blog. That's what goes on with there. And then I'm gonna go back to my blog and I'm gonna reply on some other comments. 
that I haven't put flag on yet. So here's one, right? This guy read, how reading has transformed my life. So I'm going to reply and say, thank you, Johan, for the um, compliment and encouragement. I just love reading. I'm glad that you appreciate it too. Okay. So then I'm going to go and see. He gave me another comment here. Two advanced books about creating a living life. So this guy likes reading. See, he, he's like my, he's like picking blogs people write about reading. That's why. <laughs> he's a reader, which is cool. I love readers. I'm a reader. So here I'm like, okay. He loves the teachings of Michael Bernard Reckless. So in that blog post, I talked about two books that are very advanced books that help you create a wealthy mindset. And one of them was um, by Martin Bernard Beckwith, and then the other is Dr. John Martini. So that was cool. Thank you for the comment, Johan. I watch Agape. International uh, live every day and really appreciate and love that we can. Dr. John D. Martini is a genius. His books are highly effective and great in Please do stay in touch. I will have to Okay, I'm about to start the question. Here we go. So I pre applied to his comment and then. There's another one, 10 best and close reminders of the value in each of time. Okay, so this is a good one. So I'm going to say thanks. And yeah, time is so precious. Is it? Do you want to do that? So she was reading another post I did. And um, okay, so I basically replied to all the comments that I got. Yeah, so I'm done with that. Oh, I think I have five, ten new comments. Okay. Oh, I see another one. Hi, this is Victor's one thought open your heart. Thanks for sharing. Very inspiring. Thanks for reading and uh, you were inspired. FJ. FJ. Uh, thanks for reading FJ. Okay. And then okay. Cool. There you go. Sometimes you get good comments, sometimes you get spam. Yeah. All right. So I hope you learned a lot today. And I hope that gives you some insight on how to blog, how to comment on other people's blogs, and kind of about what our community is. We have a very, very active blogging community, which makes it really easy for your business and whatever you do to start blogging, to get comments on your blog, to get more people to look at your blog, to get people to, um, oh, and I'll show you one more thing, which is so cool. You can actually go to the same place you want to live, and it's and you can set it up just by going to Google Analytics. It teaches you how to get a link that takes you right there. 
And I already signed up, so I should be able to go right in. Hopefully. Yeah, so I'm inside my Google Analytics, and it actually shows you, like, you can see what's happening on your website, which is really cool. So you can see how many visitors you're getting, and you can see. So as you can see, I started blogging back. Actually, I started blogging. I don't remember. I think I blogged earlier than that. However, anyway, you can see like back in January here, I had 10, uh, 15, uh, 10, 10, 9, 8, 10, you know, how many sessions people are having on your blog, like people coming in and looking. Okay, so the lowest I've had is one, which means someone has been on it every day, which is cool. Maybe that was me. <laughs> I don't think it's me. Uh, anyway. um, they, they count unique users. So it, even if you visit yourself, um, it's okay. It's, uh, it's not how many visits, it's how many. They actually count all that, um, how many users are checking you out. So 165 people are checking out my blog. I've had 357 page views. 267. I'm not sure about the session. And uh, they usually look at 1.4 page per session, so one or more pages. And they're coming from all these different countries. They, they have, speak all these different languages, okay? Um, most, of course, with the English, because my books are all in English. Um, and you can check out all kinds of stuff. Like, you can see if they're new, if they're returning. So returning visitors are green, the new ones are blue. So I'm getting a lot of new visitors, right? And uh, so recently I've been getting more and more visitors, right? So now I'm getting up to 18. So when I started, like I had a high of 12 over there. And then it's been getting hot, you know, kind of like progressing higher and higher. And now it's kind of getting steady high, 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 high. Um, so you can start out, and if I can go backwards, I can show you. I'm not sure if I can go backwards. So, you know, you might start out real slow, you know, no one's reading your blog. And then if you join our community and you start blogging, you're going to find that as, as you go, your traffic's going to start picking up. People are going to start looking at your blog. And you can actually see, you know, the people, which is cool. You know, that's what Google Analytics is so cool. So you can actually see who's coming into your blog and where they're coming from. Let's see. Let's see. Um, demographics. Let's, let's just click on some stuff. Um, so you can see, so the age ranges of people coming on. I have people who are all ages, yeah. Um, let's see, gender. Do you really, do you really know that? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's kind of equal. I didn't even know they could do that. That's amazing. I'm sorry. I. I haven't been in here in a while. You know, I used to do geography a lot, you know, because I was like really into like, where are they coming from? You know, who's visiting my blog? What country? And um, see, this is the this is the country. Sorry. So I have people from the United States, Russia, Canada, Philippines, United Kingdom, France, Kenya, Germany, India, Panama coming to my blog. And this shows you bounce rate means they don't really look at the page. So. So that means the people from Russia aren't really staying on the page. A few from the United States more so, yes. It's the bounce rate is lower. India, wow, I'm really good with India. <laughs> okay. And um, this is the time they spend, average time. So in France, they spend zero. And it's kind of, that means they're not really, the people from France going to my blog are not spending any time on my blog. Okay. Now, the people from the United States are spending an average of two minutes on my blog each time they go in. Philippines, two minutes. Kenya, whoever in Kenya likes my blog spends eight minutes on average on my blog. And then India, six minutes. Okay, so that's somebody in India likes my blog. Panama, zero. So you can tell here who's, you know, from what country. And that was one of my favorite ones. It's like, wow, people from all over the world are coming to my blog. This is not the first blog I've ever written, so. It's exciting, you know, we see, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay. Let's see, um, what else can you see? Sometimes they let you see where where it came from. Um, like, what kind, okay, so people came from Chrome. A lot of people came from Chrome, Firefox, you know, where are they coming from? Those are, the, those are browsers, I and mean, you see one of the networks. Uh, oh, wow. 
they can even get like that. That's so funny. Okay. I don't know what these other ones. Oh, acquisition. Let's check this out. So let's see what kind of um, channel. Let's see what that is. So, how are people coming from the blog? Are they coming from organic searches? Like they're looking for something related to what I'm talking about. Social, I think that means social media, like Facebook. A referral means somebody referred them to come to my blog. And direct means they knew my link and they went directly there. So like, I might email the link to my email list and they click on it and that would be a direct link. <laughs> Source media, let's check it out. Aha, this is, this is important. So they're telling you where they're coming from, right? So Google, I'm getting people from Google, Facebook referrals, not sure what that is, Facebook, Facebook, right? And then Aweber, that's the one where you send them your email, and then Google, okay? So that's where people are finding it. So there's people searching on Google and they're finding the block, which shows you where they're coming from. So that's cool. So now you know. So right now, if you know, say I'm marketing with Twitter, I just started getting some Twitter marketing. I'm not getting anyone from Twitter, right? So that's good though, because it's a base. So next time when I start getting people from Twitter, I'm like, okay, I'm getting from Twitter. I need people to call from where. Uh, I'm not doing AdWords. Uh, social media. Let's see what they say. Social value. I'm not sure. Facebook and Twitter. Oh, there are some Twitters on the seat. So there you go. So you can kind of see stuff. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So, I mean, there's a lot of things you can see in here about where people are coming from. I don't know how they track this one. Anyways. So that's a quick overview of how you can make a blog, how you can share it, how how it, how it works, what it looks like, and then also how you can track it. And so I hope that gives you an idea of how people do make money with blogging, and um, you can kind of get a view of you know, if you want to start blogging. Highly suggest you do. Everyone has something they're good at, and um, it's important to get your value out there. So that's it. I went a little over time, which is okay because last week I was really late. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today. And we are going to be every Friday, 6 a.m. Hawaii time. Um, that would be uh, different your time, so you have to check your time zone. I'm not sure where you're from. And look, it's daylight now. And it's going to be daylight in the summer, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, have a great rest of your Friday, or if you're in Asia, have a great Saturday. And I will see you next week, Friday. If you want to get started on your blogging, just go to the link, uh, can do it blog. Can do it now. Oh my gosh, I put the wrong link. That is my fault. Thank goodness I looked at it. <laughs> uh, you went to the wrong blog. Okay, can do it blog. Dot com. And uh, it's not. Let's see. Let's turn it off. Turn it on. There it is. We've had the wrong blog the entire time. I'm so sorry. Candoitblog.com. So as you can see, you don't have to be perfect at this. You can still make money. I mean, it was 22000 And look, I had my wrong blog up almost the entire thing out. I finally got it right at the end. <laughs> Candoitblog.com. So go there. Click on a banner somewhere, a picture. And then you can uh, join the email list. Or get your own blog. It's great. Highly worth the money that I pay for it and it's very cheap considering how much it costs to do blogs. So have a great day. Aloha.